As you can see. We've pulled together dozens of properties for the Sheehans to look at. Our first appointment is Primrose Cottage in Cranley, 10 miles from Guildford. Priced at 170,000, this is a four bedroom property with a large garden and plenty of room for extension. But at first glance, the Sheehans aren't mad about it or the location. Fiona was like, no, we're not going in, thanks, it's a waste of time, we're not living on this road. But we've made a get out of the car and come and have a look. So in we go. It's always worth having a look. You never know what you might find. Good size room. Mm. With the noises? Bad size kitchen. Fantastic gun yeah. and it could be huge. If you utilise these outbuildings, you yeah. James could have a games room. Lost. Should we have a quick look upstairs? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. yeah. Oh, nice size rooms. Yeah. Oh, look. Oh. En suite. En suite. There's no reason you couldn't make this into a en bathroom. En suite share room. Yeah. Hmm. En suite share room. Where'd you put the bed? Is there a price where this becomes interesting? Be it 100,000? Oh, yeah, OK, we'll buy it at 100 grand. <laughs> Would you buy it at 125? I don't think so. No. No? No. <laughs> Just supposing you did. Supposing I did at 125, and I then spent 40 on yeah. it, what do you think it might be worth? A couple of hundred easily. So you just, I've just made 40 grand. Yeah. Yeah, tax free. <laughs> tax free. Yeah, 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 you have to buy 125 first. Yeah. 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 We don't know until we try. Yeah. No. It's just a thought. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <Don't you think laughs> just, just a thought. <laughs> just a thought. I think it's more interesting than they're giving it yeah, credit for. Yeah, but the for. thing is, James isn't even going to think about it. Fiona, Fiona, so you can see her mind's ticking over, but James is like, no, 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 mm. no. So, yes, it's a big house with a fantastic garden and more than enough room. But Fiona and James feel it's too close to the main road, so we leave Primrose Cottage for somebody else. Next is a two-bed cottage with a garden on the green in Wood Street Village. It's on the market at 165000 Here we are. This is 49 The Green, Wood Street. It's on at 165000 um, Well, listen, we've got quite a few properties via the estate agents to see. Um, I think it's a tricky brief. Kirsty and I have certainly got our work cut out. <laughs> so I'm going to leave you to it and go off and see what else I can find. OK, okay. we'll check it out. We'll see you later. Catch up with you later. Thanks, Carol. Good luck. After you. Oh, my God, it's tiny. It is a bit wee, isn't it? It's very sweet. Though. It is incredibly sweet. It is. It might be quite nice to have a bed made to, f to fit the space, which is not a particularly expensive thing to do. Because We've got a how, beautiful bed. Have you? Oh, yeah. no. How wide is it? It's king size. <laughs> so, did you not measure it? It's about five feet. No. no. Yeah, okay, like, yeah. key. This is a key point. If you have pieces of furniture that you really like, measure them before you go house hunting okay. so that you know whether a space will fit this right. piece of furniture that you yeah. don't want to let go of. A post office is the centre of a village community and a great place to discover property gossip. As a result of this encounter, we discovered a house for sale. I don't think that uh, the Sheehans have quite got the budget for what they, what they really want. Um, so Kirsty and I have really got our work cut out. They're going to have to compromise. They may end up with a house sort of on a road or near a railway, something that just detracts from the value of the house. Here we are. We've got a fairly busy road up the top here, but a patch of green between us and the road and some very pretty houses here with um, woods in the background. This is an empty house, and this was the one that both the postman and the post office lady knew about. I wonder if we should just have a look through the windows. Nah. Um, I think they'd be bored by it. Meanwhile, the Sheehans are still looking round the green. Mary, the lady who lives here, left us out some photographs of the garden in every oh, season, okay. which is a really That's sweet, so sweet. Thing to do. <gasps> oh, look at that. Oh, wow. All snow. Oh. Oh. <laughs> uh oh. Mayfair out on the green. <laughs> oh, no, but it gives a really good picture it does of look village it. It life. It does, it does. The cottage on the green was picturesque, but just too small. Okay, well, this is the one. It's on quite a main road. road. As you can tell. 
But let's see what it's like when you get in the house. Parkside Cottage is a two-bedroom house with a garden. It's on the market for 150,000. The bad news is that it's on a busy road, but that's what brought it into their price range. For the budget the Sheens have, this may be as close as we'll get to the perfect country idyll. Back room, this is what would have been the kitchen right, in, yeah. in the original two up, two down. So this is your, was, would have been your kitchen, and then through there is, is your front room, as it were. Right. This is actually a much bigger room it than is. the other room. It is, it is much better. What's, um, what's hidden behind here? Okay, blank wall. We're all, we're all right. <laughs> there are no cracks it's yet. Re it's actually really nice, this room. It is. It's really nice proportion. Yeah, and again, you could knock this wall down, can yeah. you? You could definitely put an arch in. If you want to take down a wall in a house, make sure it's not a supporting wall, or you could be in trouble. Take a look at the floorboards. As a rule of thumb, if they run parallel to the wall, chances are it's a supporting one and should be left well alone. If the floorboards run at right angles to the wall, you're in business. Just be sure you really want to remove the wall in the first place. Now, you there's nothing to stop you knocking this down, down and, doing, and again. doing it again. You could have double doors opening yeah. out into the back if, and this build is it a right from there. 70s side. extension. Okay. It's not bad. It's not bad. No. Nice, nice Fireplace. Wardrobes you could have yeah. put in. Fireplace in the room. Mm. Yeah. Nice. I think your bed would fit in here. Yeah. Centrally, yeah. which is nice as well. Like, yeah, that's what I mean. Look at that view out the window. That mm. is beautiful. That really is rural. That is, yeah. Now, this, I think, will be a kid's room, but. Yep. Yep. You can soon nice. solve that problem. You'd probably get a double bed in quite happily yeah, this definitely. way. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. Which is obviously you can what put you want. cupboards in here. I mean, it would be tight, but. Yeah. It's a guest room. Yeah. yeah, beggars can't be choosers as we're... Yeah, fast learning. <laughs> <laughs> this is a lovely room. It is a very nice room, lots of character. Again, slanted ceilings, which I love. Yeah. I love. Fantastic view. Fantastic Really view. nice view. It's all wooded at the back, and in the summer, that would be lovely. I yeah. mean, in about three months' time, yeah. the leaves on the trees and everything, it'll be mm -hmm. fantastic. How was it? Good. It was great, yeah. Yeah. It yeah. was nice. Yeah. Small, big enough. Yeah, no, well, look, I mean, it, it, it is quite small, but it's not too small. It's not tiny, tiny. It's not as small as the first one we no. saw. No. And it's got a huge potential. Yeah. 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 It's a lovely yes. garden. Well, it could be a really nice yeah. garden. Yeah. Main downside is the main road. Right. Yeah. But, you know... But if you've got it at the right price, could you live in it? Absolutely. I think so, yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> so we have a contender, and we've still got more to see. Several months earlier, Fiona and James had fallen in love with a cottage in the village of Pease Lake, five miles from Guildford. Unfortunately, they got trapped in a sealed bid scenario and lost the house to a higher bidder. But another house is on the market in the village, very close to the one they lost. Ho Cottage is a two-bedroom semi in the village they love. Unfortunately, it's a 15-minute bus ride to the nearest train station, so transport isn't great and it's pricey at 215000 the setting is idyllic, so it's worth a look. We've heard from the agents that there is a, an offer on the table of 210, which the lady here is, is happy with, but the offer comes with an incomplete chain. So if she can get someone to offer her an acceptable amount of money with a complete chain, or as in your position as a first-time buyer, she's very interested, no. which is why we brought you today. Nice size room. It's a nice size There's a room. lot of furniture in it's here. A, yeah, I mean, it, it's got big table, piano, sofa, everything, and it seems nice. Nice floorboards. Yeah. Beautiful yeah. floorboards. It's a real old cliche, but the difference it makes having a real fire blazing when people look around the yeah, house. Absolutely. Mm. You know, yeah, if this, it, it just makes a huge difference. She switched on the lights, it's really tidy, yeah. it's really warm. If she had coffee out, we'd have the wallet out on the table. Settle, <laughs> yeah. settle. She's done it nicely. It's beautifully done. This is a lovely, lovely room, isn't lovely it? Look, bedroom. Fireplace, it? lovely nice. cupboards. View. Yeah, fantastic view. This is a really nice room. Oh, wow, another big room with another corner fireplace. This is a really good size room yeah. with a really nice Love tongue and groove yeah. panelling. Love that. And it's for our own fireplace. But I don't know if I could live here looking at the house I didn't get for the rest of my life. <laughs> <laughs> 
This this house just outside the oh, window. Look. Oh look! On on the corner is the house that James and Fiona missed out on. <laughs> okay. I don't think either of us would want to spend the rest of our lives living in this house, uh, looking at the one we'd have rather had out of our back window. So. And would you, having seen this, you're sure that you'd have rather had Absolutely. the other one? Absolutely. What dodgy advice are you giving them? Never. <laughs> Never. <laughs> what were you talking about? Getting that house? Yes. We've have you stayed in touch with the agent? We have called once and they have once. said they'll be in touch with us if it goes wrong. You well. must stay on the case every week, at least once a week. That's how I got my flat. I missed out because, well, I'm not going to go into this, but I, I, I went on at the agent literally all the time saying, has it exchanged, has it exchanged, has it exchanged? So you can't put it to the back of your mind until it has exchanged and then you know you've lost it. Just stay in touch with the agent. So Ho Cottage had great rooms and needed very little work, but Fiona and James couldn't bring themselves to live beside the house they really loved and didn't get. So on we go. After seeing and rejecting a number of properties, the Sheehans wanted me to arrange a second viewing on Parkside Cottage. But David, the agent, was about to dramatically raise the stakes. That's a bit of a major development. There's another offer in on the house at the old asking price, but that old asking price of 150 is now shot up to 159. It no longer represents the bargain for James and Fiona that it did, and we're really up against it because there's another couple involved. We decided not to tell Fiona and James about the development just yet. 